morning to you. Welcome again to the Critter Barns live at 11 o'clock. Uh, this is Miss Mary and I have a special guest with me today, Miss Katie from Townline Hatchery. We're so glad to be here. We're actually at the hatchery. Why? Because so many people have been buying baby chicks lately because you're all home and you're looking for things to do and chickens are convenient. They're not big. It's not like, well, let's uh, raise a cow or a pig. Chickens are easy to add into your backyard. And I thought it'd be fun to just start out with where it all begins. So let's turn it over to you, Katie. You wanna tell us a little bit about the hatchery? Yeah. I'm Katie, uh, this is my family's hatchery. It's been uh, in our family for 106 years. My great grandfather started it back in 1913. Um, we have been hatching chicks my whole life, my dad's whole life, my cousin's whole lives. It's just kind of what we do. So this is our egg department. Uh, this is where everything kind of starts. We have our breeder flocks out back uh, that we, we breed and maintain our own breeder flocks, gather the eggs by hand um, twice a day. And then they come in here and we set them on our setter trays. So each tray will hold about 180 standard size eggs and 12 trays on each side for our setting purposes. Once they are set and they're all tagged by breed, um, they go into our setters here. Open for you. Where they incubate for 18 days. Our machines are set up to rotate automatically. They have to rotate once an hour so the embryo doesn't get stuck to the shell. Keeps them nice and warm at the right humidity, at the right temperature, ideal conditions for hatching. Just like if they were underneath mother. Just like if they were underneath the mother yeah. hen. Uh. So here we are in the actual hatchery part where the chickens are almost ready to hatch. It's day 18 and it's called transfer day. And you can see how they take the trays and they put the eggs in. Uh, the trays are deeper, which allows the chicks uh, a safe place to hatch. Katie, can you tell us why they're taking some of the eggs out and what's happening? So what Daniel is doing here is it's a process called candling. And you can see some of the eggs that he is plucking, the light shines through the egg, which indicates to us that there is no embryo in the egg. So no chick will be hatching out of those. The ones that you, no light is shining through, that lets us know that there is a, a fully developed embryo in there ready to hatch in three days. That's pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. So then he takes that set of eggs and look at this kid, flips it over and all those eggs are safely transferred into the bottom of that hatching tray. It makes the process a little less manual for us. Yes, yeah, so we don't have to do it all by hand. Yes. Yeah. And made tables for the transferring process. Oh. Uh, same temperature, same humidity, same ideal conditions for hatching. They're just set up a little bit more for some new chicks that are going to be running around. They don't need to be rotated anymore by the stage. They're they're fully developed and they're just ready to start pecking out their way out of the shop. So this morning we're actually on our way to the post office to pick up our chicks for the critter barn. That's right, Townline Hatchery actually has to ship them to our farm, even though we're just in Zealand. It's all about biosecurity and making sure that germs from one farm don't get to another farm. So what's going to happen next? Yep, so once our chicks hatch, we get our orders and we have special packaging made um, to ship the chicks through the mail safely. Um, we have a few different designs of boxes depending on the weather, um, where we constantly monitor the weather, not only here, but also to where we are shipping, and we adjust our, our packaging accordingly. Um, a box like this can hold up to 100 chicks, 25 per quadrant, um, and we, we pack the order based on what the customer has requested. Um, we, and then we strap it up, we throw a postage on it, and everything goes through the mail. And then your chicks go to your local post office who will call you once they're there to be picked up. They don't deliver them straight to your house uh, just to protect the chicks from being exposed to any potential bad weather, predators, things like that. Um, so you, you do always have to go to the post office to pick up your, your box of chicks. 
Thank you, Katie, for letting us come in and learn all about how the chick process starts. No problem. It just might make you appreciate more what goes into getting those little chicks. Because some of you go to Tractor Supply, Family Farm and Home, or Piers Feed to pick up baby chicks. There's a lot of work that happens before that moment. And for over a hundred years, think about that, this has been happening at the Town Line Farm. Thank you so much for letting us come up today. And uh, I'm really impressed with all the work that you folks do here. Thank you. It's amazing. We, we definitely enjoy what we do. Okay, and now we're going to the post office. For real, our chicks are in. We got the call this morning. Here we go. So we're here at the Zealand Post Office because I got a phone call this morning. Your chicks are in. And so every time we come to this little annex building to pick up our special delivery. So come on along with me. The first thing we do is we ring a bell and we tell them that we're here. And then hopefully in just a minute, we'll get our little box of chicks. Because Townline Hatchery supports Critter Burn, they actually are donating these chicks to us every week. And we raise these chicks up uh, for kids to hold at a farm, but then they also become roasting chickens when they get older. There you go. Yes, thank you yeah, very much. Day. <laughs> Here they are. We've got our baby chicks. Can't wait to peek inside. I'm gonna have to get a scissors to cut this ribbon, but we'll let you peek inside in just a minute. So I couldn't wait till I got home, cut the, uh, ribbons off of the box. Are you ready to peek inside? Here they are, little baby chicks. Oh, so precious. Cute, cute, cute. Little tiny ones. So at the hatchery, they raise all sorts of breeds, but this is called a Cornish Rock Hybrid Cross. Hello, hello. All right, we'll take them back to the farm. We got to get them home now and get them under a heat lamp and uh, get them fed. So here we go. So here we are at our farm with our baby chicks. I have a pretty strict rule. The way we run our farm is whenever an animal is moved or somebody's adopted, you want to have their pen all ready for them before they have to move in. So here in our little table where we keep our chicks, we have a heat lamp. We use a red light because that's best for their eyes. It's easy on their eyes. We have the water that's already filled. And I'm not sure if you notice it, but the water is yellow. It's because we've added some vitamins to the water. We want everything that they drink to be worthwhile, to give them the best advantage on being healthy. Then I take the little chicks or our staff or critter crew volunteers do, and we pick up every little chick individually and I dip their beak in the water. I, I know that they maybe don't, oh, he's ready to drink, look at that. Maybe they don't need it right away, but I want them to know where the water is. So we very gently just take them and tip that beak right in there as if to say, here, you don't have to wonder where the water is, little chick. We're gonna show you right where it is. And they have an instinct to go after that water and drink anyway. It's just what we do. And then we'll get the rest of them in just a second. We also provide some feed. And we'll talk about what we feed them in just a few minutes, but here is some feed. And you might think this is a little crazy, but little birds have an instinct, little chicks, to peck on the ground. That's what the mother hen would do. And they would imitate her and peck on the ground. So what we do for the first few days is we put the food right on the bedding because they're going to peck at it better that way. They don't have to put their head through a feeder um, or maybe even be hesitant to go to a feeder. I don't know, it's just something we've always done and the baby chicks will eat. Now, I have to tell you, when they first hatch, there's a little bit of that egg yolk left inside. That's how come they could be shipped from the hatchery. 
um, they have 48 hours to get to our farm from the time they hatch. And it says on our box that they hatched at 10 a.m. yesterday morning. I think they were all hatched by 10 a.m. yesterday morning. They probably hatched at different times during the night. And then at 10 o'clock, they packed them into their boxes. So uh, they've still got a little yolk right now. You can see a drink is important and then being warm is important. So it's just like sitting underneath their mama hen. Uh, but of course, they're, they're going to be raised this way instead. The mother hen is back in their breeding breeding barn. And so these little chicks are just raised here, just like they would be if you bought them and brought them to your house. So let's talk about feed. I'd like you to go meet some of my friends at the Piers Feed Store. So we're gonna jump in the truck. See you later, little chicks. So now we are at our last stop. I can go to many stores to pick up feed, but when it comes to buying chick food, you have to have an eye out for the right thing. There are stores around like Tractor Supply and Family Farm and Home. And depending on where you live, if you're lucky enough to live in the Holland area, on the south side of Holland is a wonderful feed store that's got quite a bit of history. It's called Piers Feed. And the newest owner is with us today. Her name is JoLynn Smulligan. And this is her mom, Beth Timmer. So that's why I'm over here and they are socially distanced over there. But I am so glad that we're here to complete the story and talk about equipment and feed. Uh, if you come to Piers Feed and say, hey, I saw the video about chicks at the Critter Barn. They have coupons for you and they have treat samples for your poultry flocks. You just might want to check them out. So it's my pleasure to introduce you to JoLynn and to Beth. And she's going to tell you a little bit about some of the feed products that they have here at Piers Feed south of holland yeah we have pretty much anything that you might want um i understand mary has talked to you a little bit about starting your chicks uh, <clears throat> once you have your feed or your chicks set up you want to start with a medicated feed um, we have a start and go product here it comes in a 25 pound and a 50 pound um, and that's a good feed it's medicated to help with the diseases that chicks can pick up but it only stays in their gut so once they grow up and start getting closer to their laying age then you switch to another feed some of the feeds that we have here we carry perina kalmbach uh, grams organic and you can get a wide range of anything that you want laina crumbles or pellets are from the perina company and they have the oyster strong system in there to help your layers have good strong eggs. We also have these products in a 10 pound bag or a 50 pound bag. Now some of you are probably having um, free range chickens. We also have a feed for that. <clears throat> this is also from the Perina company. It's called the uh, free range layer feed and that comes in a 10 pound and a 50 pound row sorry, 40 pound bag. And what that has in it is the, um, some larva from the insects and things that the chickens already pick up when they're ranging. Also from the Perina company, we have a chick starter for your ducks, your turkeys, things like that, that you don't need necessarily the medicated. So we have the medicated version and a non-medicated. Kalmbach um, brand that we carry carries everything from the non-GMO and the um, organic type of layers for you. We have the chick starter for your meat birds and um, that is a non-GMO starter finish right here with the layer crumbles. We also have a 17% natural or normal feed as well as something we called hen house reserve. This is a cool product because look at all the um, goodies in there. There's peas, there's lentils, there's sunflower seeds, everything that your chick might want, chickens might want. Uh, we also carry our own house made layer feed. That is one that many people, if they just want a good layer feed that's all around, it's we call it our layer mash. It's very fine um, product. 
And then we have our organic feeds, everything from your chick starter to your organic barleys, um, your scratches, your layer feed. Um, and we also have just a uh, all around good product that's a, lit, a scratch that would be um, in addition to your regular chicken feed. Like Mary said, we have a lot of other products that we offer too, like treats and things. So Mary's gonna explain some of those items that we have. Boy, did you ever think that chickens could be this complicated? Actually, what it is, folks, is whatever your preference, whatever you would like, Pierce Feed has it all and a nice variety. Um, some of these things are optional or to your preference. There are feeders, waters, all kinds of treats here that they have. So if you want to have a little extra fun with your chickens and use this as a learning experience for your kids, oh my goodness. I know when we go out to our hens and just throw a little corn on the ground, everybody gets excited. It's like giving a dog a dog biscuit and it doesn't hurt them. It's all good. It can all be part of their nutrition, but the treats are extras just like our dogs get extra treats. It's not their base diet. But hey, come out here and look around. Uh, everything, even down to the electrolytes, we buy a larger pouch and we make up an electrolyte uh, that we add to the drinking water for our chicks. They have the convenient individual packs where one pack makes a gallon. All extra things that you can do to keep your chickens happy and healthy and make your learning experience extra fun. Remember, if you wanna be involved in the Pierce program for baby chicks, they take orders by May 16 and the birds will be delivered here to the store on June 9. You can also get birds at some of the other stores I mentioned, but this is a way for you to just get your chicks. They're not in the store for a period of time uh, prior to you adopting them. So great program that the folks out here at Piers have. And remember, they've got treats and coupons for you if you mention seeing this video. Oh my gosh, from Townline Hatchery to the post office, to putting chicks into your own pen, to coming out here and seeing all the products. I hope you enjoyed our special Saturday, this segment about raising chicks. And whether you're gonna raise meat chickens or layer chickens or little banty chickens or ducks or turkeys, I wish you a whole bunch of success. We'll see you next Monday at 11 o'clock. Have a great weekend, have a great day. Thanks everyone.